When it comes to safety and efficacy of omega-3 prescriptions for patients with atrial fibrillation, data are limited and results are mixed. But a new study presented at the annual American Heart Association meeting in Chicago shows that even high-dose supplementation with omega-3 does not reduce the recurrence of atrial fibrillation over six months. We've been waiting for a definitive study to examine the effects of this particular a product because it's used by so many patients uh, to see whether it really works to prevent paroxysmal atrial fibrillation, a very common disease. And I think the results are pretty clear that it does not have a treatment effect that we had hoped for. But not all hope is lost. Well, there's still many other uh, situations where one might consider fish oil. Um, not this one, perhaps, anymore. Uh, I think this trial pretty well indicates that uh, for people who are otherwise uh, healthy, uh, who have uh, uh, paroxysmal atrial fibrillation, uh, this type of therapy is not effective, but in other patients who've had prior myocardial infarctions, have left ventricular dysfunction or, and or heart failure, uh, the, the data are pretty definitive that uh, omega-3 fatty acids actually are effective at uh, improving uh, survival. Well, the really good news about the trial was enormously safe. So I don't think we need to be frantic about this. If, if patients believe that they're taking it for other health care benefits to prevent certain kinds of cancer or aging or whatever it is that they think they're doing, I don't have a problem with that whatsoever. We also didn't, by the way, see that there, were a, there was a negative effect in terms of drug interactions. So it doesn't appear that this is going to hurt anybody. I, but I think physicians need to be very careful to tell patients that they're probably not going to experience this benefit as they had hoped. Reporting from American Heart Association Scientific Sessions, this is Nassim Miller.